Hello, my name is David. I'm a tech here at Micro Center. Today, I will show you how to create and modify users on the WinBook D5000 HDH DVR. Let's begin. Starting out on the live camera feed screen, you'll right click anywhere on the screen and click on main menu. Then you'll go to configuration, click on accounts. And here you'll see the starting accounts. Um, you'll start with admin and default user. And then to add a user, you'll click on the add user button. And then you'll need to fill out this form here. Um, starting from the top, fill out the username, password, and the confirm password. Next to that, you'll see the reusable checkbox. This allows a single account to be logged in multiple times. For example, if you have three people that needs to access this DVR and they usually do it at the same time, they will be able to do so with this single login. Leaving the box unchecked will disable that feature for the account, meaning if somebody else is actively logged into that account and you try to sign in at a different location with that same account, you will get a somebody else's logged in message and you will not be able to access that account. Next is memo. Um, what a memo is is just an arbitrary note to yourself. Uh, you know, for example, who this account is for. And finally, click on the group drop-down box uh, to select what group that this user account will belong to. A group is a list of predetermined access rights that you can give to a login. And we will go over group access rights and creation in a future video. And when you're done, just go ahead and click OK at the bottom and then click OK for the confirmation. And now we'll move on to modifying accounts. First, you'll want to make sure that you and nobody remotely is logged into the account that you want to modify. And then click on Modify User on the Account menu. The very top drop-down box is where you select which user that you are going to modify. Below that, in the name field, you can change the username for that account. And the reusable checkbox will allow you to give or take away the reusable privilege of an account. And in the memo field, you can change the memo that you left for that account. And you can change the group that the account belongs to by clicking on the drop-down menu next to the group. When you're done modifying the account, just click on OK at the bottom and then click OK again on the confirmation screen that comes up. And going back to the modify user screen, you can delete a user by clicking on the delete button at the bottom and then clicking OK on the confirmation screen. And that concludes today's video. If you have any further questions, please visit us at microcentertech.com and thank you for watching.